Welcome to another segment of Short Clip Lessons. Today, we are going to continue our lesson on left hand finger placement. But now we are going to use our first melody on the guitar. So everything that we do today is going to be on the first string. We will use all four fingers for this week, but each finger will play the melody in its entirety. So let's begin. Now what, remember, thumb, Mr. Hyde or Miss Hyde, behind the neck of the guitar, not laying, because that's Mr. or Miss, I'm laying down, and not showing itself up here, because that's Mr. or Miss, I wanna be seen. So Mr. Hyde, and remember your pencil position, tip of the fingers very comfortably, okay? So now when I give you a number, each number will represent a fret. Remember the whole melody will be on string number one which is the bottom string. So tip of the finger, right behind the fret. So what I want you to do is, I want you to look at your guitar and notice that either up here on the neck or some of the guitars in front have dots. We are going to use those dots as our points of reference. That way every time that we have a fret, we don't have to start all the way from fret one. So what I want you to do right now is go ahead and pause the video and memorize where your frets, where the dots are in uh, relation to your frets. For example, mine, the first dot is fret number five. So I have my dots up here. So I have five and fret seven right here. Some of us will have fret three, fret five, fret seven, fret nine, and fret 12, or in the front of the guitar, same thing, fret three, fret five, fret seven, fret nine, and fret 12. Now if your guitar is one of those guitars that does not have uh, dots anywhere go ahead and find um, stickers or some type of tape and put them above the fret at the center of the guitar you are going to place it on fret number three and not a huge sticker of course a nice little sticker or a piece of tape something that can help you identify uh, what uh, the purpose of that sticker or tape is okay so a nice size on fret number three you're gonna put one on fret number five on fret number seven, fret number nine, and fret number 12. So go ahead and take a couple of seconds to memorize those frets. And now we are going to begin the lesson right here by starting with playing two zeros. Now when we say zero, what that means is you are going to play string number one open. And open means that you play the string without having to press anything on the left hand. So remember zero is the same thing as open string. So let's go ahead and play two zeros and I want them to sound this way. We're gonna go ready and zero, zero. So nice and slow. We can even go slower. Ready, so we're gonna go one, two, ready and Zero, zero. Good. Now that we have two zeros, the next one that we're going to do is fret seven. So we're going to play two sevens. So remember your dots, go to your fret number seven and use finger number one to press on that first string, fret number seven, right behind the fret, not on the metal part, not all the way back here, but right behind it with the tip of the finger. Remember your pencil position, ready, finger one right here. Make sure your fingers aren't doing this. They're not under the guitar or behind the neck, but ready to play. So ready, two sevens, ready, and seven, seven, good. So now we're gonna combine the zeros, two zeros and two sevens. So what I want you to do is you're gonna simply lift finger one off the string Make sure you don't move it away. It should be right in front of that fret seven because we are getting ready to play fret number seven. So this is the way it should sound. Ready and zero, zero, seven, seven. Good, so do that a few times so that you can get comfortable with it. Now we are going to find fret number nine. Remember you are on fret seven so just go up to your next dot or count up two frets. So now we have fret nine. We're still gonna use finger number one. 
We're going to play it two times. Ready? And nine, nine. Good. Now we're going to combine all three. We're going to go zero, zero, seven, seven, nine, nine. So starting from fret seven, put your finger there and then off the string so they are, that you are ready to play that fret when it comes next and you don't have to be counting from fret number one. So ready, starting with zero and zero, zero, seven, seven, nine, nine. Now make sure to always be looking at your left hand so that you are making sure that you are landing where you need to land. Now let's try it even slower, at a slower speed. Um, that way we have a higher uh, success, a chance of success, sorry. So ready, so this is the speed. Listen to the speed. One, two, ready, play, and zero, zero, seven, seven, nine, nine good do that as many times as you need till you are comfortably playing it with no mistakes once you achieve that you are going to find fret number seven and you're going to play it one time but you will allow the note to ring so this is the way it should sound you play it and you just let the note ring so if we play it together with everything, it should sound this way. Ready and zero, zero, seven, seven, nine, nine, seven. Good, and you let it ring. Now there's a famous Mozart, okay, Twinkle Little Star. All right, so once we get that melody down with finger one up to there, we are going to move with the same finger, finger one, to fret number five, and we will play this one two times also. So ready, and five, five, good. So remember, zero, zero, seven, seven, nine, nine, seven, and let the note ring, and then five, five, okay? Now the next one, we're gonna use the same finger and go to fret number four, and this one will also be two times. So four, four, let's hear that, ready, and four, four very relaxed using the tip of the finger not on the fret not too far behind the fret but right behind it and then the next one that we will find is two this one will also be two times so ready and two two good and the last one that we're going to do for today is zero again but only one time and you let it ring so it should just be zero long. Good. So now let's do the whole thing using finger number one, making sure that we are landing on the tip of the finger. Now, if you need to practice any frets or anything like that, go ahead and pause the video and take your time to work on it before you try connecting everything. So let's do it from the very beginning. Ready? And zero, zero, Seven, seven, nine, nine, seven, and we let it ring. Then we move to fret five. Five, five, four, four, two, two, and then zero. And you let it ring and you stop. Good. Now do that with finger one as many times as you can. Remember slow so that you are comfortable and you are giving yourself enough time to think about everything that you need to do. Once you get comfortable with finger one, you will do the same exact thing, but 
with finger two, tip of the finger right behind the fret, and it should be the whole way with finger two. The frets do not change. So it would still be zero, zero, seven, seven, nine, nine, seven, good. And then you would go all the way to five, five, four, four, two, two, and zero with finger two. Now do that also as many times as you need to so that you are comfortable and you can play it without hesitations, which means without stopping. Once you get comfortable with one and then with finger two, you will do the whole thing with finger three, zero, zero, seven, seven, nine, nine, seven. Proper hand position on the left hand and the finger position with the tip of the fingers. Do it all the way with finger three, again, as many times as you need so that you are playing it without stopping, no hesitations. And then the last one will be with finger four. Now be very careful that you are not playing with the finger flat, but with the tip of the finger, remember the curvature, and do the whole thing. The next step after this will be using specific fingers on specific frets. So get comfortable with these four fingers playing the entire melody using uh, one finger, of course. And then on our le next lesson, we will uh, discuss the fingers that we will be uh, playing for uh, specific frets. Okay, remember slow uh, practice will give you good results if you focus on everything that you have to do. Thank you.